If you want to learn how to use Spring Data GPA in your Spring Boots applications, then this is the course designed for you. In this course, we'll not only talk about Spring Data GPA and the features it provides you, but we'll also talk about how to use them efficiently. Hi, I'm Deshrat Sinkiran and I'll be taking you through this course on Spring Data GPA with Hibernate. I'm a trainer and also a software consultant. I've been working with Spring Data GPA since 2014 and it's been brilliant to work with, but it could also be a bit tricky to get started with, particularly for students who do not have much experience with JPA or Hibernate. So keeping that in mind, the flow of the course is designed in such a way that we'll first talk about some of the most essential topics of JPA using Hibernate which in my opinion, you've got to have an understanding of before you get yourself started with String Data GPA. You could think of that as the GPA prerequisite for this course that you should be familiar with. And once we are done with that, we will get ourselves started with String Data GPA. We will start simple with some CRUD functionalities and talk about String Data comments. And then we'll be talking about queries for a while. We'll be deriving them and writing them in our repositories and see how to paginate and sort them. And then we'll talk about auditing and see how we could track the creation and modification of an entity. We'll then move on to transactions and concurrency, a really important part of the course in which we talk about some of the optimizations to help the performance of your application and also how to handle concurrent users using optimistic and pessimistic locking. We'll be talking about transaction propagation rules as well. And once we are done with that, we'll be talking about modifying queries and projections. And then we'll move on to some of the essential mapping concepts and talk about some of the pitfalls along the way. And then we'll follow it with different strategies of inheritance mapping and also the repository inheritance. Everything we are going to learn in this course, we'll do that with the help of an example. And not only that, we'll be discussing the SQL at runtime as well. And almost all the lectures in the course will be followed with a lab exercise to help you revise the concepts learned in the previous session. And we will surprise you sometimes with a quiz in those lab exercises as well. Even if you have just some basic experience with JPA or Hibernate, we are going to cover all the grounds for you to be a competent Spring Data JPA programmer by the end of this course and give you a strong foundation for you to be able to move on to even more advanced topics with confidence. So let's go ahead and get started.